Hello everyone and welcome back to another Da Vinci Resolve 15 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can work with GIFs or GIFs. Whatever you call it, I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet and still. It's a file format, it's animated stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you how you can work with uh, GIFs in DaVinci Resolve. So the thing about GIFs is that you can't just import a GIF format into DaVinci Resolve uh, directly. You have to convert it to MP4. So I'm going to show you how to convert and how you can work with GIFs. So first thing first, we need to have our clip and but it's in my timeline now it sort of uh, looks dark so let's open these colors a little bit and go to the color wheel you know just adjust the gain the gain here we go all the way to the up come on a little bit more open without too much Okay, about here, maybe a little bit of gamma as well, and lift. Okay, just to give it this nice exposure. Okay, should be good. Should be good. Maybe uh, just the uh, right channel a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so the next thing is I have my uh, GIF also, and I need to convert it to MP4. So the way I do that is I just go to any browser. You can go with uh, Mozilla Firefox, or you can go with anything really. So um, uh, yeah, so just type GIF to MP4. Okay, uh, I usually go with this one, easy GIF. Browse your GIF. It's in downloads files. Uh, it's here. Upload, give it a moment. Okay, so then you click on convert to, uh, GIF to MP4. Okay, so here it says outputs MP, uh, MP4 video. You can click on save and just save the file. I already have it, so no, no need for me to save it again. Anyway, I will go back to DaVinci Resolve, import media, go to download and click for easy. Click on E so I can find the file. Here we go. Now it is our GIF and it's converted to MP4. And I'm gonna put it right here on top of our CG uh, video animation. Okay, next thing we're gonna head to the color tab because all the work will be done in the color tab. No need to go to Fusion this time. Now, guess what? We have the uh, MP4 file right here. The next thing I wanna do is just Select this area right here with the qualifier. You can leave it like this if you want. If you want to leave uh, a GIF with the background, that's not a problem. You just uh, reduce the size of it by clicking on this rectangle and just reduce the size. Give it a moment to, to, uh, to process. Okay, you can leave it like this if you want. If you want to get rid of the background, you're going to have to do a little bit more work. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. It's not enough. We want to get rid of the background, this yellowish background right here. So make sure you have the uh, GIF selected under Clips. And then we go to the qualifier. 
okay and you go for selection range you must go for this one right here you know with the circles you click on the area that you want to remove you can see right here on the note the selection now what it did is just instead of selecting the background it selected the character as you can see right here on the node graph if i uh put my highlights on you can see that on the screen so it selected the wrong thing we don't want the we don't want the character selected we want the background selected so you can come over here and click on inverts and I'm going to invert the selection. So now we have the gray thing means that the background is selected on the node right here. So it's all good. Now, if I want to remove it from the screen, I go to the node graph right here, right click and go for alpha outputs, and then just link this node to the alpha output and here we are almost done but look at this we have a blank we have a, a dark screen right here and we don't want that because if i go back to the edit tab uh we're still not done because we can't see the video beneath it we have a uh, black screen and this is not what we want and we have this small window so how do we fix that we just go back again to the color tab this time we go to window, select a window like this, sorry about that, and you just adjust this, okay? Here we go. So now if I go back, you can see that we have our GIF and with the with the transparent background on top of the other video. And of course you can move it anywhere that you want. And I can duplicate the the GIF to make it as long as the video. So just click here on Control C, move the playhead and control V. And I can do it over and over again. until it fits the duration of the video okay now the final thing of course we can just go go uh, go to the render and render everything so that was everything on how you can work with gifs thank you so much for watching and see you on the next tutorial